this lecture we are going to add the final chart and in that chart we are going to show the relationship between sales gross profit margin and net profit margin and this will be this chart will be a little more tricky than the charts we have added earlier so first of all let us add a new sheet and in that new sheet i would like to bring in the sales here into the rows let us begin with this one and after that i would like to bring in the date from here to the columns and you can see that system has by default created this line chart so i don't want to see this line so i can either go here and change the chart type from here or i can simply go here in the marks and change this to bar and you can see system has now generated bars for you i will just like to expand that to quarters or perhaps even to the months so that we have this beautiful presentation for sales for all the months now that we have this basic sales uh, trend i mean sales sales values uh, the next value that i want to bring in into this sheet is gross profit margin so let us do that so i'll drag down i'll say gross profit margin from here to the rows and now you can see that the new axis have been added and in that axis again the system has added the bars for that as well so i will click here and i will say let us change these bars to line and now we have this you know uh, the line for this uh, gross profit margin so first of all let us change this to this type of line so that we have one straight line and i will go back to sales now and i will make it to bar again i should have done that earlier but that is okay now that we have this uh, bars for sales and this line for gross profit margin the next thing i want to do is to make sure that we have the same chart one chart but we have the dual axis which means that the sales would be counted in thousands using this axis but this gross profit margin which is going to be only 0.66 or 0.7 something like that will be used using the secondary axis here for that you will click here and you will say dual axis and now you can see you have one chart in which your sales is being counted on this axis here and your gross profit margin has been shown here on this axis after that i would also like to bring in the net uh, profit margin for that i will click here and drag this value to this axis and once you do that you can see you have this net profit margin line as well finally we will be doing some color fixing as well so for that i will go to this color option and uh, let us see what we can do so i'll click on edit and you you can see we have all the options available so i will keep the sales in um, in the blue that is fine for me the gross profit margin will be turned to green and the net profit margin will be turned to yellow let us click on apply and let us see if these lines are clearly visible i think they are so i'm happy with this i will simply click on ok and my chart is ready i just need to remove these excess so i will hide them so show header should be gone similarly show header should be gone here as well and let us talk about these lines as well so i'll go to format and lines and in the rows i will say change it to none so we should have no line and finally i will go to this header and i will say format title and i'm sorry so i will say edit title and i will change it to sales and then we have gross profit margin that that will make my heading too big so i will use gp margin and finally i have net profit margin uh, let us select the text and change it to our own style so font font size and font color apply and that is it so now that this chart is ready i will go back to my dashboard but before that let me rename the sheet as well so rename this to sales gp percentage and np percentage so with that i'm ready and i will go back to my dashboard and here in my dashboard i will click here and i will say add to dashboard select this and move to layout make it floating and then let us place it anywhere that we like
so i think this placement will be right for this one now you can see that our dashboard is not very decently aligned and we need to work on alignment so let us do this alignment work in the next lecture separately so that we can keep this thing separate